Welcome back to another segment of This Week in Misogyny, the segment that even the comment section of YouTube doesn't want to play devil's advocate with. First up this week, something we can all agree with. The sentence, Arizona pastor, never ends well. It's right up there with Florida man and sentence subjects that are going to merit a fucked up predicate. And this week is no different, because Arizona pastor Jose Morales was arrested last Friday for marrying a 10-year-old girl from his church. According to ABC 15, Morales, who was 40-fucking-9, began dating the girl when she was 8, married her when she was 10, and got her pregnant when she was 13. But that's not all. Four other girls in his congregation have recently come forward claiming that Morales abused them, one at the age of 7. Currently, Morales is pleading guilty to molesting one of his 18-year-old congregants, but denies the other allegations. And as if his creep factor wasn't already cranked up to 10, he claims in his defense that his wife was 15, not 10. And speaking of blame-shifting kid fuckers, former Ohio mayor and self-proclaimed dedicated Christian, Richard Keenan admits to raping a four-year-old girl, but claimed according to the court documents that his victim initiated sexual contact and was a willing participant. A four-year-old. Keenan went on to confess the crimes to a social worker, his wife, his brother and sister-in-law, and, of course, his pastor. He faces life in prison if convicted, but is currently out on bail. But judging by how this year has gone so far, he'll get the key to the city as punishment or some shit. And while I'm on this smooth transitions kick, speaking of super low punishment for a heinous crime, I've got some more news about that subject's poster boy, Brock Turner the Rapist, who was last seen trying to ramp up a speaking tour about the dangers of drinking and promiscuity. Yes, really. He wants to go around the country explaining why she was asking for it. And it appears he's found an ally in the human version of a blackhead removal video, Matt Forney, who put out a call to his band of Twitter trolls this week asking for Brock Turner's victim's name so he could dox her. According to Forney, quote, either Brock Turner and Emily Doe should be anonymous or neither should be. Time to publish her name. And I gotta say, I'm fucking stunned. Look, when this story first came up, some 14-year-old with a Peppy the Frog profile picture was going to tweet the meanest shit he could about it because dad didn't buy him his new hoverboard. That's just the internet. But to put your name on this? To be fucking proud of it? Well, it surprises me, and I'm pretty fucking hard to surprise. Needless to say, this piece of shit is deserving of all the disdain I have for him, but I'm going to give you a bonus. I've heard a rumor or two that some listeners would really like to hear me go hard on this prick, and I just want to point out that I do count as a vulgarity for charity as much as the other guys do. And I'm not saying that if a bunch of you donated money with the request that I handle the insult, I would totally rub it in Noah's face, <laughs> but I totally would. And with that gauntlet thrown down, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.